Thank you for clicking It's Starting Now. Ready? And three, two, one, action! And ready and boat. Good cut. To feel these feelings like I do. Where does the story take place of the trailer? We are following Nayrell, which is a sort of a character from the main game of Diablo 4, who is trying to stop hatred from coming to the world of Sanctuary. And in order to do that, she has to sort of capture the Lord of Hatred, Mephisto, inside of a soul stone to try to imprison him forever. And the game ends with her on that quest, but you never really see where that goes. And so where we pick up with Nayrell in her canoe is with Mephisto trying to corrupt her as she seeks a place to imprison him. Three, two, one, camera. Diablo 4 is just one of the coolest brands. It's dark, it's provocative. We want to make sure that Diablo 4's first expansion got the attention it deserved. And that's where this live action film came into play. This live action portrays so much that's coming to us with Patriot. We're seeing our new class of Spiritborn just jump into the fray, unleashing the Spirit Guardians and just being total badasses. We're introducing a new place to the world of Diablo and Sanctuary called Nahantu. Now it's existed there before as sort of the southern part of the eastern continent, but we haven't been there yet, at least in Diablo 4. And that new region is filled with lush, dense jungles. The one that we chose was actually deep in the jungles of Thailand. I think the biggest challenge with just bringing to life any fantasy world into live action is staying true to the core essence of that fantasy world. That really led into how we decide who our director is going to be and who the crew is going to be. Three, two, one, action! So you need a director who can both have an emotional story and be able to go dark, but also have the ability to understand what it takes to film action and a lot of visual effects. Cut, got him. Cut! Enter John Watts. The Jaguar is gonna be an empty place. <laughs> yeah. So he can make this be whatever you want. You could put that there behind him or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he does the move there, summons the Jaguar, then you have the swirl here. Mm -hmm. That's like, that's great. The Blizzard team had already built the world. Like they already had such a rich, detailed world that they had created. My job was to execute it and a way to uh, bring the creations that they had already developed to life. It was a chance for me to really get all the shots just right and really get involved with the VFX and making sure all the practical effects and the fight choreography all was in sync. I love that part of the job. So to be able to, to do it in such a hands-on way was like very satisfying for me. Working with John has been incredible. He's a fan of Diablo, which just made the connection really natural. He understood the game and where we want to take the brand with this piece. When you see from the Spider-Man films, ability to direct action, to deal with visual effects, and then also just his body of work and that he's a storyteller, that we knew that he could go to this darker place to film that in the Nayrell and Mephisto interaction. And then of course, it's just like who he has with him. All uh, right, guys, rehearsal's up. A little more smoke on the set, please. The caliber of talent that we had for this live action film was just incredible. Prim, who plays Nyrell, she has such dynamic range that she brought to the table. It was definitely hard to get the performance to be on point and the intensity of the emotion was going to be super powerful, but I, I think like in the end, we, we got it. His skunt coordinator is phenomenal. The way that they were able to coordinate all the martial arts actions, like Jackson was a stunt double for Captain America and Black Panther. And so we were able to get really cool, authentic looking action and in a really dynamic way. On action, she's gonna go, she's gonna hit the ground. Okay. She kicks it around, comes and stabs the ground and then like, the centipede comes up. What we really focused on when we started rehearsals was bow staff training. Our goal was to kind of make each character style similar to their animal style. And then the costume designer was phenomenal. John brought his whole Hollywood crew to Thailand with him and you can really see the results in the piece. We're not done shooting, we still have one more shot. No one knows what it's like. Music was just a cornerstone of this piece. We looked at different things in terms of what would be authentic to the piece and we really felt like what we wanted was classic and timeless. And that's where we landed up behind Blue Eyes. Behind blue eyes. We wanted to make sure that we brought in 
the right vocals and the right artists that could really hit more of that haunting range for us. And Camila just nailed that. She really understood what we were trying to achieve and she was able to hit that tone that felt so right for this piece. Part of the reason I was so excited about collaborating with Diablo was because the lyrics of the song like really, really spoke to me and Diablo being a dark fantasy game, that theme of good and evil and trying to protect and preserve the good in yourself, in humanity, it's just like an eternal theme. Diablo is all about fulfilling your power fantasy. The reason you play Diablo is because you want to be that barbarian, you want to be that sorcerer, you want to be that thing that goes off and destroys demons and sends them back to hell. And so here you get to see a new type of power fantasy, the spirit born. We've got a new class, a new region to explore, more ways to play with your friends. Now is the perfect time to jump in.